There is a quote from Gail Larson, who teaches public speaking, that we listened to last night, and she said, people practice themselves into oblivion. They keep practicing how to try and be comfortable in the world instead of being themselves so that there can be something in the midst. Something changes dramatically when you are yourself in the midst of another person. Rumi once said that um, we need to speak a new language so we might create a new world. And I just, when I speak about a new language, it's not um, learning Mandarin or one of the existing cultural languages. It is a vibrational language that allows something between two people to create a sphere of possibility and potency in the world. And I think about that sometimes when I'm up here speaking, that there is a space between us where your contribution and my contribution allows something to be on the mercy seat so that mercifully the new world can be born. Anybody else appreciate mercy in their life? I'm so grateful when it shows up and I often have to pray for it. May I have mercy in this thing that I either feel like I'm not understanding or I'm doing badly in my own mind. So when we hold that together, there in the midst is the potency of that mercy and that creative, it's powerful. In the new book we're reading in my reading group, one of the um, factors in it is that they talk about how there needs to be a huge upheaval for the presence of God to be known by a person. And I just challenged them all and just said, what if God's already present and you just need to shift a little bit? And I think sometimes that happens when we're talking about holding both ends of um, this Ark of the Covenant or the, the design of how it works together to be in the midst, is sometimes we just have to shift a little bit so that the field is clear. We don't have to totally blow up our lives. And we mostly vibrationally already know the new language. We, just like when you're learning a French or Spanish or something, you do need to practice. You need to get the vowels right and things like that. There's mercy in that. There's mercy when we're practicing to be new together so that when we're genuinely bringing our gifts, we draw it forth from another person, the gift that they have to give. I have found that um, I am most at ease in giving my gifts when I'm with someone who is really comfortable with their gifts. And they're so comfortable with their own gifts, they really want your, they want to co-create with you. They're not trying to shine their gifts and just say, accept me and love me because I'm so great. Usually when someone's doing it, it's because they really haven't accepted the fact that they have a gift to give. They are practicing into oblivion, like still trying to figure out, what can I do for people to love me? I am there in the midst when the love is, is genuine and the gifts are given freely. Where two or, you, two or more of you are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst. But what's present there is the spirit of the covenant, the spirit of the potentiality of the new world being born in the hands of those who are playing their part. That substance is available to us when we hold our end of the Ark of the Covenant. It's all available. The entire universe wants this to happen. So let us not keep practicing into oblivion. Let us speak the new language. And one of the other things that um, Um, Gail Larson said last night was, you need to, how did she say it, name your gift, know it personally, and release it into the world, because it may die forever if you don't do that. And we need it. So thank you for letting me have a few moments with you.